Hi, we're expecting some snow next week, so it's time to put the snow plow on the Honda ATV. Um, I I did find out that uh, the excavator was kind of slow to uh, plow with, plow with, and um, I had this snow plow. I think it, it came with the Basha Basha on uh, ATV that I fixed and uh, got working. So I'm gonna put this on the Honda. First thing to do is. There were some things missing. As you can see, the the hardware to put uh, this the plow blade onto this uh, uh, mount uh, or this frame was missing. So I'm gonna fix something between here and also the this latch here that's supposed to go in inside here, uh, so you can lock it in different angles. Uh, it's also missing. So uh, I'll have to fix this and this and then I'm gonna see what I can do here. Uh, uh, there's, uh, this, there's this mounting plate that you're attaching under the ATV. And if I have time, I don't know really, I will probably do this as a front mount. Put it, mount it like here or something. So it's easier to put, take on and off. And it won't be in the way when you want to go out in the like off-roading or stuff like that. But first, I'll try to mount it the way it should be and see how it works. Uh, the way this is supposed to mount is there's supposed to be like a big washer in here, and then a a bigger washer on the outside, and then a, a bolt going through it. But I couldn't find that kind of washer. It was kind of hard uh, maybe something special for this snow plow but what I came up with was this instead so I got a, a big I think this is like M20 nut and then I'll just use that As you can see it fits kind of well in there and then it will um, the snow plow will kind of uh, rotate around this big nut instead I don't know uh, what angle will be the best, but I'll just, I'll just try this here, see what happens. Thank you. 
So I'm going to keep this real simple because I don't know if I will like to snow plow. And if I do, I'll probably fix some kind of an angling system so I don't have to get off the ATV to do the angling. But it's just a piece of iron in here and um, I'll, I'll do some kind of a you know, connection from here to the snow plow so even if it rattles loose I won't I won't uh, lose it in the snow so Let's see if it works I'm thinking something like this would be good. Uh, that would make take that those mountain tabs probably be somewhere around here. Let's see if that works with the frame also. So I did run into a little bit of a problem. See that the frame is too it's too big for these clamps. So the only place you, to put them is like here here up here it's too it's too far away can't get them to there and I think these are a bit too small so I, I don't think I'll have to mount it in the front instead and just uh, forget about this mid mount stuff This is the back side of that front protection plate. So I'm thinking that I could use this as a mock-up and then just weld a tab here that connects to this hole here and then bend this plate a bit so I can get it into like a tab down there. Then it's uh, quite easy to take this plate up off and on and off. I think they were kind of drunk when they did this plate because nothing is straight. These angles are all different. So.
finished cutting off what I think will be the excessive material from this plate and from that I made these little tabs here one there and one there so I'm, I'm just gonna put a little weld here and here and there and there and see that it works before I do anything else Yeah, this will be really good. And then, you know, I can tighten these and uh, good. Then I will make like a cut here, like that, and then bend this a bit in like that, and then another tab here. Yeah, that will be. It'll be really good. So, I'll weld these up first.
at these lined up here and now I will weld these tabs here and here. start to snow now and uh, I, I cut this and uh, did some measurements when it was dark and I didn't really get the wells right but I think I'll, I'll just use a like a plate here to uh, make this stronger and a plate on this place here and there and um, I, you can see I, I did a little bit of a mistake here cutting it but and then I'll have to cut these off of course. We'll see how it works. I'm a bit afraid that when I push with this it will uh, just lift the front of the ATV but if that happens I have a another plan but I'm gonna try this first.
I'm checking what will happen if, if, if the wire breaks and the plow kind of lifts the whole bike. And right now, if I were to keep those, they would hit the drive shafts like that. That would be maybe like the worst thing because it will ruin the drive shafts probably or only the boot. I don't know, but I don't, I don't want that. So if I, I could do something here, like a, a stop here, then uh, yeah, it, it might ruin these pins, but it, it, it's okay. I tried to plow out in the dark, but it wasn't any good filming. But I got some more snow now, and uh, there are some improvements that I need to make. You see, I just attached this um, this here, and this one broke off for a couple of times. So I'm gonna have to improve that. And also, this one came off, so the whole blade moved. So those those I need to address that immediately. And the geometry isn't very good because when there's weight on it, it actually kind of lifts the whole um, bike. So, let's see what I have to do about that. Uh, yeah, and also these springs are a bit too hard. But uh, I'm gonna keep them like this. Maybe later I'll just drill like a hole here or something like that. And put them there. <laughs> I'll attach something here instead. Hmm. Well, that's nice, I guess, but it can ruin my test area. Oh, we can blow here too.
Okay. They stretch, they, uh, they they don't work anymore. good I think I mean the blade falls uh, just about when the ATV can't push anymore so and this snow is it's, it's almost like water here
Okay, uh, there's some things I need to change, but uh, it actually works kind of well. This this spring is too soft. I have to buy some uh, uh, some real springs. There must be some kind of spare parts for this one. Uh, as you can see, it will tip over way too easy. And uh, I also need to fix uh, like a some kind of a maneuvering thing for this one, like up and down. But otherwise, I think it. Um, those things aside, it, it works kind of well actually, um, and um, it's nice to, to, to use this uh, as a snowplow because it's easy to go forward and reverse. And that's my plan is to maybe <laughs> have something up here, like up, down, forward, reverse. That would be really neat. And uh, the grip is... Okay, it spins sometimes, but it's it's okay. If it's more snow, or I mean, this is really heavy, wet snow. If it's uh, if it's more loose, it won't be a problem. And if it's more than this, then I'll probably just use the excavator plow. So, uh, uh, well, I'm gonna feed the horses now. Thank you very much for watching, and um, bye. I found uh, spare parts for this uh, snowplow. It's uh, the company that sold sells these uh, Bashan um, ATVs also sells the snowplows, and they have, as you can see, they have these the bolts and special washers. I'm not going to put that on now, but uh, this was a kit, and it was like forty forty dollars.